Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts in these very two simple words, secret records. Secret records, that is hidden records. Now, in First Samuel chapter 17, verse 36, you remember when Goliath had appeared in chapter 17 was where Goliath appeared threatened the living daylights out of Israel, made their lives uncomfortable. From king to servant, everybody was worried and everybody was w sitting in fear and trembling, or quaking in their shoes, or trembling in their seats. Now the Bible then said something. Now David then comes to town. And when David came to town, the Bible said, I mean, he offered to fight Goliath. And when he, after he had offered to fight Goliath, uh, the Bible said the king then looked at him and said, this is just a small boy. And there's really very n nothing much to you apart from your looks. And then he said, you can't fight this guy because he has been trained to fight all his life. He's been training the art of war all his life. He just lives for war. That's all he knows. He doesn't know anything better. He doesn't know any better than, than this. That was all. Then David made a very interesting response. Or he gave a very interesting response. He said, listen. Don't you dare look at me and see me as a small boy because I have a hidden CV. There's a curriculum vitae of mine that you don't know about. There are, I have some secret records. and Let me take you through my CV. Number one, a bear came uh, against my sheep. I killed the bear. Then number two, a lion came. I went after the lion and killed the lion. So David was saying, listen, I have done things in the, in the past. I have a record. I have records of God's uh, supernatural intervention in my life in dealing with a bear. I have a supernatural record of God also acting supernaturally in, in my life in dealing with a lion. So David was saying, my CV is powerfully decorated. And you don't know anything about it. So sometimes there are things that God does with you in secret that nobody else may be there to celebrate. Nobody else may be there who knows about it. Nobody else may be there. But guess what? God is building his curriculum vital. He's building your CV. And not just building your CV. He's building a faith record with you. He's setting up a secret cachet of faith items. Or he's setting up a secret cachet of faith amulets for you. In such a way that next time when something happens, you can refer back to those days and say, if God did this for me, he can do that for me again. But you know what? Nobody was there to celebrate you. Nobody was there to know that this is what, you, this is what God was doing with you. God sometimes hides us in the valley of secrecy and trains us and builds our confidence, builds our strength, builds our inner, inner strength in secret and nobody knows about him. Until the time of your showing forth. So you know what? Whilst you are not known, be mindful of the fact that God is building something. Be mindful of the fact that God is taking you through certain circumstances. And guess what? All David's circumstances that he mentioned that were in his uh, CV were difficult situations. A bear, frightening. A lion, frightening. Both of them were frightening experiences. But David said, this is what God used. God used the valley of fear to build my faith. God used my valley of fear to build my faith. So, sometimes there are things that you are going through. Or sometimes there are things that is, and nobody really knows about it. But God is secretly building your records. So that at the right time, when everything is there, you can always refer and use those experiences as stepping stones to face the big adversity of tomorrow. So your yesterdays, the victories of yesterday, and all the things that, uh, the glorious deeds of yesterday, are indications to you that God wants to do something bigger. Because God always starts from the micro and ends with the macro. 
So here's my word to you this morning. In the little adversities that you're facing today, he's only building a secret record for you. That one day you're going to look upon them and refer to them and say, the God who took me out of this is capable of taking me out of that. So you know what? Do not despise small beginnings. And don't be too worried when people do not celebrate because they may not be around to celebrate you killing the lion or celebrate you killing the bear. But they'll be around to celebrate you when you deal with Goliath. So keep your eye on the secret records that God is piling up. And have hope and confidence that tomorrow's battle can be dealt with. Secret records. See you later.